now we got little maturity about client scripts and we also got little maturity about ui policy now as we already have it discuss about the difference between ui policy and client script just give the answers ma we already know that everyone know it what is the what are the things dynamically we can add options in the client script mm -hmm. and add options or two options and only in the client script is possible okay so instead of giving one by one like this which we can do many things using client scripts i can say using ui policy we can do only these three things correct read only read only mandate mandate is that correct okay. right these are the three things only we can do this is a standard definition of okay ui policy now they little improved so clear value and then related list showing related list those two also Th that, those two values are very new ma okay they were not there in traditional ui policy topic good so you, you can still continue that also here now second one so what is the next one um so policy is... works only on on load and uh, on change but uh, for in the client scripts we can do on submit and on sell edit also perfect okay so ui policy works on on load and on change okay that's it and that too on load we should know the concept actually when it is check checked correct right ma yes yes so the reverse part of his client script okay so client script cs works on on submit and on sell edit also okay good next one ma please Oh, uh, we can we can go ahead and make form based change on client script, whereas in UI policy we have to go ahead and do it one by one. Mm. Write one writing one client script, writing multiple client script UI policies. That's what the meaning of your statement, correct? Right. Okay. Uh, it's case by case, but yes, sir, uh, we agree it. Okay. Optimize it. Okay, I'll uh, sing. Optimization can be uh, how to write it actually. I am not getting the words. It's more powerful, I will say. Okay, good. Next one, please. Both Sir, are are on we on client side. Both works on client side. Okay, very good. It's not a difference. Yes, next one ma someone sir for your policy we have reverse if false change okay in client script we need to write in new policy reverse if false is there which is inbuilt one okay but yes, in client script you need to define everything correct yeah yes sir very good we can also use a inherited option as well we have the option. Is there in both places? Yes. No? Yes. Yes. Oh, so uh, it's not a difference. Okay. What else? Option add on the test choice field. Option add on choice field. No? Add option. So this one. Curves. <laughs> this one. <curves. laughs> we can't do many things. If you take app option, no, we have so many things like this, no. So yeah. Add yeah, decoration. Everything. Decoration and attachment. Okay. Many things are there. Like messages. Everything. Okay. So, uh, Hama, anything, please? Sir, in uh, UI policy, we use condition builder to say condition. Mm -hmm. In UI policy, we use condition builder to put the condition, but in client script, we use if and else conditions. Okay, you can still write it, okay? So, like this, it will go on, go on, go on, okay? Builder. Builder. This is if else condition. Right, okay? now uh okay i think this is pretty much straightforward done these are enough actually actually only two are there we are just dragging it okay now one mad question will come interview question will come this is also a very important topic but question wise it is okay 
Okay, let's say which one will run first? UI policy. Client script will run first. Client script will run first. Okay, so Client script will run. Sir. I will say one thing. Okay. Both will run. Sir. Okay. So which one will run first? Think and tell me. If you are just giving one answer, means you are blind. Uh, UI policy. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, client script also onload client client scripts also. Okay. So see here, if you say UI policy, or if you say client script, I you say client script. Okay. Immediately, someone said client script. It's a blind answer. Why I will say blind answer is, if client script type is on submit, then it will work. Right. We are understanding it. So how many answers we have here? N number of answers we have here. This is not a simple question to answer. So whoever said UA policy, whoever said client scripts, we are not discuss, we are not thinking it. Okay, we know very deeply now. We know what is how, what is in and out of client script, what is in and out of UA policy. So when we are answering this, we should be very careful and think an answer. Okay. So what is the answer is? Okay, what could be the answer is? So see here, first case number one, okay, UI policy, okay, with onload checked, okay, this is onload client script, which one will run first, this is, a, this is the actual question, okay, we need to check it, we need to keep one error, we need to keep one alert message here, Okay, in the script, we need to keep one alert message here and then notice it, which one is prompting first. Is that correct? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Is now, this client script loading, I mean, onloader will work? Here right? also onload is there, no more. Client script onload. This is onload client script. The one which I written is onload client script. No, this case, which will run first? Onload client it. script, right? That I am not sure. We need to check it practically. This okay. is your assignment now, okay? So what is your assignment is create a UA policy, okay? And check that onload. And then in the script of UA policy, you keep one message, alert of UA policy running, okay? You create you create one more client, one client script with onload and then put one alert message like client script is running. Now you load the form and then see which is coming first. Got it, everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we have to create UI policy and client script for the same field. Or create you can create nothing field. because it's onload. No, if you don't give a condition, also doesn't matter here. Just check the onload. That's it. Okay. Now second thing. Okay. UA policy. Very carefully see. UA policy. Onload checked with the condition. Okay, we says on change client script. Which one will run first? Uh, onload onload UI policy. UI policy. UI policy works. Why? Because it is run, run, run loading time, so first it will run. Okay, now our next condition will come into picture. Onload unchecked. Okay. And here on change client script. And here condition is same in both places. Okay. This is on change of active field, on change of active changes. Okay. So condition. Now again, right? So this is on change, this is on change. So now which one will run first? You understood it now? Uh, Sorry. UA policy will execute after the client script. No, we need to see that. Just don't say that answer. Okay, just do it, create it, and then uh, tell me the answer. Okay, create a table, keep these values, and then which is running first, you just note it and then send it across. This is your assignment. But we are understanding it now. What to do? Okay, we need yes, to keep sir. the same condition here and we need to take the same change here and then we need to do condition is also active changes. 
don't say active equal to true active changes keep a condition here active changes okay here on change now the next answer is okay ui policy wishes on submit client script anyway we know the answer good this is the answer exact answer okay and this is expected to answer if we say simply client script and ui policy then that, that indicates that you don't know anything about client script or ui policy is that correct now you all agree whoever answered it client script ui policy client script ui policy you all agree ma yes sir agree yes. okay so keep this notes and practice this assignment i want everyone to be practice this assignment and come up with a table okay with the results like which is running first which is running next and if we miss any scenario is there any scenario which we missed here by any chance uh, i think almost covered no i think that's it right i'm selected it we don't need to carry it okay submit on load checked on load unchecked so this is on load on change on change i think covered right Good. Sir, one doubt, sir. Uh -huh. In your policy, where where we can put that alert message? Script, ma. Oh. Second tab script is there. No, enable the script and then keep an alert. Oh. 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 Thank you.